Hello everyone, Matt Hoots here and welcome to another episode of Fresh Air Fridays. And today we are gonna talk about how to get fresh air from the outside into your house and also the bad air from the inside to the outside. And all this is going to be through what is called an energy recovery ventilator, also known as an ERV. I'm going to unbox this Panasonic ERV and this is the FV04VE1. Now this is a spot energy recovery ventilator. Now a spot energy recovery ventilator, ERV, versus a whole house one, um, just means that this is designed for one particular room. So what we're gonna, going to do is pull this out. I've got two boxes here, and this one contains the main ERV, and this is the ductwork and the vent cap going to the outside. We're not gonna open this quite yet. I wanna mainly focus on the components of an ERV and why this is good for houses. To get fresh air into the house, which we definitely need fresh air into the house because humans need to breathe. We need clean air, we need fresh oxygen, and we also need to make sure that the dirty air that is inside the house gets out to the outside of the house. There's different strategies for this. One, you can use ventilation. Uh, you've got your bath bands, you have um, whole house ventilators, you have whole house fans, and you also have the exhaust fans that you use for cooking at your range hoods. Well, while this is a good way to get the air out, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting the clean air that you want coming back in. Another strategy is to use an ERV, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video, is an energy recovery ventilator, which is similar to a heat recovery ventilator. But in this episode, we're gonna talk about energy recovery ventilators, because these are the kind that can be used in most parts of the United States. Now, the third way that you can uh, get fresh air into the house, we're not gonna talk about it in, in this episode, is basically bringing fresh air or fresh air supply directly into your HVAC system, where you can use your HVAC system to condition the air before it comes into your, into your house. Now again, all these strategies can work and are effective, but some there are pros and cons for each of these, and we'll talk about that as we're making the videos in the next, coming, next upcoming episodes. Now, for the longest time, people thought that ERVs were only good in certain parts of the country, and that's not so. They've come a long way. Now, these are basically designed for any climate zone that has humid air at any particular time of the year, which is mainly on the eastern seaboard of the United States, and you could also use this out west. Now, you'd probably want to use what's called an HRV in certain climate zones like the Rockies, where you don't have a lot of humidity. All right, so let's take some of this out. Now, the first thing we pulled out looks like this is the cap. So this gets installed into the ceiling system. So basically, it looks like a large bath fan. And all you see from once you put the drywall up is you see this cap. Let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic so you can see what it looks like. It's like it's a very similar color to the typical Panasonic bathroom vent fans. So we've got a Panasonic vent cap. So it looks pretty nice. So when you finish your ceiling, you have this up there in the ceiling. All you see are these the, are the grills and, and you don't see the filter or, or any of the other mechanics. All right, let's get to the fun part of this. So this is the ERV and we're gonna get, deconstruct this and talk about the different components of it. So let's pull it out of the box. Take some of the packaging off. So let's go over the different components of the ERV. So you see these two vents right here, these are labeled. So this is the exhaust air. The exhaust air is what comes out of the house and gets blown to the outside. And you've got the outside air that gets sucked in from the outside and comes to the inside. Now, what's neat about an ERV, and reason these are special versus just sucking in air from the outside with a, um, with a fan and also taking, all right, looks like we have one of my friends here. Everyone say hi to the camera, Oliver. All right, all right. This year at the International Builder Show, we met with some of the representatives from Panasonic and to see those interviews with regards to their bath fans and their ERVs, click on the video up in the upper right hand corner.
So when this ERV is on and needs to be on 100% of the time, especially in humid climate zones like Georgia, because otherwise you can have some condensation and you can have some other issues if this isn't running all the time. So as you have the air coming in and the air going out, you've got this special box right here. And this is what makes an ERV different than a bath fan. So that what this device is going to do is allow the air streams to cross but not touch each other. So what happens when these, when the air is coming in from one side and, and going out the other side, you've got heat transfer and you also have humidity, humidity transfer happening at the same time. So when you, when you plug this in and push this in, snap it in, the air is coming in one side and going out the other side. And instead of losing all the energy that you pay to condition in the air or all the all the energy that you use to take the humidity out of the air well able to able to transfer it with this box it also plays a vital role in circulating fresh tempered air throughout your home our energy recovery ventilator or erv works to replace stale inside air with fresh air from outside while simultaneously transferring the heat from the air being exhausted to the incoming air helping to maintain a comfortable balanced temperature while working continuously to provide healthy, continuous airflow. Let's talk about another feature of this ERV. You do have a filter, which basically pre-filters this air that's coming in. Now, I believe this is a MERV 8 filter, which can filter out uh, most larger particles and some smaller particles and this can be pulled out and washed. So basically you just pull off, take the vent cover off, which gives you access to this because this is the side that you're gonna have access to. You hose this off or rinse this off in your sink and you put it back in place. Now, if you are in an area that has lots of wildfires or you have particulates in the air that you worry about getting into your house, I would recommend putting a pre-filter on this so you can, you can add another filter to this. So you can either add a, a MERV 13 or a MERV 16 before it gets to the ERV. All right, let's talk about how this, the air comes in and out and this is the ventilation mechanism that gets attached to the outside. So even though this looks like everything would mix together, um, if you look down the middle, this actually separates one side from the other. And as this blows outside, you see you've got the vent on one side where it's, where it's exhausting out and you have louvers on the other side where the air is getting sucked in. That way you're not mixing any of the dirty air with the clean air. All right, once you've established a location for this spot ERV, make sure that this, the ducts where the, you've got the exhaust and the intake are pointed towards the outside of the house. Now, you're going to notice that we do have two four inch connectors here and a four inch connector here. You don't have to install this where this plugs in directly to it. And as you can see, if you try to push this in here, you're about an inch and a half off. So you're gonna have a four inch and I would use a rigid duct connect to connect this to this. And on the outside, we've got this connection. So this is going to drill through the outside of the house, the siding and the sheathing. And then you're gonna have this boot that attaches to that. Now this boot um, does have four screws in the back. So make sure you take this apart, screw it into the back, weather seal around it. Cause you don't want this to become a source where water can get into the house. Cause you just took all this uh, time to get some fresh air and you can create a mold situation if you don't install this properly. So make sure you've got proper sealant and flashing around this. So water doesn't get into the penetration where it goes through, through the exterior. Once you have everything put in place, the drywall is installed then the cover is going to snap in and this is going to be the finished product that you see. Now this can be installed in a, in a basement, this can be installed in the main level of the house, um, but these, this is a spot energy recovery ventilator. This is not a whole house one. So if you're, going, if you're looking for a whole house solution, I recommend getting multiple, multiples of these and working with your HVAC contractor to properly see how much CFM you need in each area to exchange so you can have clean air. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on topics like this, we invite you to search for other products, services, companies, and people on the Rated Green directory. 
Unlike other websites, searching is free, listing is free, becoming a member is free, and listing your green products is free. Thank <laughs> you.